happy Thursday, Millbrook. I hope you have dove head first into the Bible year. We are finishing up our second book of the Bible. We've covered Genesis, you're finishing up Exodus, and we are looking towards Leviticus. As I was talking with someone at church just this past week, they said, I feel like I'm missing the whole scope. I'm doing the readings, I'm listening to the sermons, but I feel like I'm not quite grasping the entire story here. Well, that's true. Our sermons can only cover so much, and as you're reading so much content, so many stories, so many beautiful passages, it can be easy to lose sight of how it all fits together. So I wanna recommend a couple of resources to help with this. As you know, Exodus is a book that has so many stories. We start with baby Moses. We watch him rise to power and then be called by God from a burning bush to go back to Pharaoh, demanding that he let the Israelites go. We then watch them leave the Exodus out of Egypt into the wilderness where God provides for them in a variety of ways. Each of these stories is so beautiful and profound. But as Aaron Hayworth shared in his sermon this past Sunday, this isn't the Exodus year, it's the Bible year. But certainly we could spend countless weeks just on Genesis and Exodus alone. One way you can get this kind of overview look at the ways that these stories and these characters interact and connect is by searching the Bible Project on YouTube. The Bible Project videos are cute, creative illustrations of the stories that take place in these books. They take five, some seven, some 10 minutes or less to give you an overview. Now, five or seven minutes isn't quite enough to give you an in-depth look, but remember, you're reading these scriptures already. These videos just give you kind of a roadmap into where you've been or where you're heading. So I recommend if you're still feeling overwhelmed by all of the stories and richness that you heard in the book of Exodus, end that chapter, end that book by watching a Bible project video to give you that summary, to show you the trajectory in the ways that these stories and characters interact. Or you might be heading into Leviticus and think, this isn't my most favorite book of the Bible, but there's so much there. There's writings about rituals and sacrifice and rules. Maybe you need an overview to give you a roadmap to help you see the ways that this all goes together to tell part of God's great big story through scripture. Another way you can dive deeper into the study, especially of Exodus, Last fall, Pastor Christy and I spent several weeks preaching from Exodus. We covered stories like manna in the desert, the golden calf and the 10 commandments. If you look in the description of this video on our YouTube page, you can see links for both the Bible project and some of these Exodus sermons. I really hope you feel empowered through reading scripture to tackle your questions, to explore what you're curious about, but also to learn more about these great big stories as they unfold. I hope these resources help fuel your study and empower you to explore the Bible even more.